Okay, welcome to Flash Eagles TV. Welcome to Flash Eagles TV. I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. Uh, my name is Terrence, and here I have uh, Tabiso, uh, the master painter. The master painter. He has one of the the most incredible pieces that I've seen in a long time. So I want him to actually introduce himself and tell a little bit about himself before we get started with this interview. Um. But, so when when I first started in my career, I I was doing lots of both it was like 50 percent uh, making uh, uh pieces of what people want and 50 percent of what i liked doing uh but as i evolved in the as, as i'm growing as an artist i'm i'm now really growing towards only making pieces that i want because you know when sometimes there's a lot of limitations when you have to do something that someone else wants because they're not an artist and they have other maybe details that they're thinking or specifications that are not really in in line with your signature style or what you want uh the look to be like and um sometimes you know someone would come and they want a, a perfect picture and i'm sure you've noticed from my work that i don't really like doing something perfect like if you see <laughs> from the piece behind me it's like blurred faces and all that. So mm -hmm. I just like to be allowed to be free and to 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 just work according to how I feel. So sometimes, um, especially now, I, I'm I'm very limited on taking commissioned work for 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 you know those specifications where someone says uh, this is the detail that I want and this is what I want, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So it's more now. Now it's more of um, I'm doing this. Hi, this is what I have. This is what's available. If you like it, you know, take it. If not, I'll keep it. It's it's pretty uh, pretty simple like that now. Yeah. So you don't want people coming in trying to tell you how to do your job. <laughs> yeah, uh, because yeah. you know, because I feel like I'll be trapped. I feel like I'll be really limited and trapped most of the times. Unless if you know, there there are people, of course. Who, who understand the, the, you know, the variations of, of art and who understand the different emotions that artists go through. And they'll just come through and they'll be like, ah, you know what, just work on what you can, just do what you wanna do on this piece. I, I already love your style. So just be free. And that's when you know, I, can, I can take a commission like that because that person has already allowed me to, to, to interpret whatever they, they want in, in the way that I see best. So they trust my intuition, they trust my judgment on it and my interpretation. So I, I, I take mostly those uh, as compared to someone would come and you know they, they sort of want to tell me to go this direction and mm -hmm. you know not deviate whatsoever. So it's, it, it becomes easier for me. Not that I don't like challenges, but um, I feel like it's, it, it's, it's better for me, it's easier for me as an artist, as a person, as someone who's growing, to be allowed to, to play around with what I want to do and how I want to do it, as compared to having to, to, you know, to stick to a holistic approach or something like that. Nice. Yeah. Sounds good, man. I definitely, um, I, I kind of would second that, because if I was in your position, you know, I would kind of yeah. want to feel a little more free to do whatever I want. And then, you know, yeah. kind of because obviously um, if somebody likes it, that's kind of their own perspective. So sure. if somebody likes it or doesn't like it, it's kind of, you know, to each his own when it comes to paintings and artists. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I definitely, was, you know, wouldn't want to put that bondage on anybody. If I was actually seeking a painting, I would just say, you know, paint something. If I like it, I like it. If I don't, I don't. 